Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here on Throwback Thursday to do a Patreon request from this patron right here. And we're fucking back with, uh, with have them all. Yeah, I'm going with fucking back. Fucking back. Yeah, you know, we left and then we came right fucking back. Yeah. You know, we're... we're we just heard the video, hey, we're fucking back. Well, you know what? We're like the mob. When you think you're out, we'll pull you right fucking back in. We're, that's exactly what we're up to. All right, I, I'm sure the name of the band is not pronounced fucking back. I, I'm it's almost... Like, it's I, like fa it's fucking back. I think it's fucking back. 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 Maybe back. Maybe, maybe fucking Bach. And seeing the name of the song, I don't think it's going to be the name. Have them all is the name of the song, I think. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah. Okay. But so, that, I think this is going to be the... Because how you pronounce Mo is Moshe Gladbach. Yeah. So this has to be Falkenbach. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That, that was easy enough. I had to use soccer as a reference to figure out how to uh, pronounce the name of the track. Uh, I mean, the name of the band. All right, we've never done... By the way, we've never done this band on the channel, so this is our first time. I didn't check Metal Encyclopedia. My bad. So, but from the logo, it kind of looks like something like Viking and folkish and black metalish. Yeah, a little bit of metal. No, because... no, no. Like I see wolves. I see. I see the Odin's ravens there. I see a tree. So this is kind of like folk, pagan, Viking metal, something along those lines. That's yeah. what I'm thinking, just from looking at the logo. All right, you ready? Yeah.
thought it was going to come back for one more time. But but it makes sense because it kind of finishes the same way it started. So it kind of goes full circle. What, what a beautiful song. Uh, can I go first on this one and then... Or oh, you I, was, I just want to say before you go, I was completely wrong about this song. Because I thought... I was, was right. Well, you were a bit right, but I thought... I said folky pagan. I know, said, I said a little... Because the, the way the logo looks, I thought maybe a little bit of like pagan black metal type of thing. And then I see the name of the song, I'm like, okay, so it's not going to be in English. It's probably going to be in a different language. It was in English. It, it was in English. Was it? Yeah, it was, it was like um, Arab Altor, right? It was in English, but with the accents hard to okay, okay. To, to hear. And it was nothing like what I thought. It was. I think I was closer. You were, you were way closer. But what when I heard the start, I thought it was gonna kind of jump and then start hitting you with like. It, I like thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you thought like it was gonna start like with a little folky melody with the with the guitar and whatever, and then it would. Because we've done bands like that. Yeah, this starts like kind of like, eases you in like, like folky that. black metal. I yeah, so so thought. like it starts in like that, and then next thing you know, like the harsh vocals come in, and all all hell oh, breaks loose. It was just a peaceful song. It was beautiful though. It was really. It was. I I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I had a big breakfast today. I had pancakes and French toast. So I'm feeling a little drowsy. Listening to this song, oh my god! If you take a nap now. Oh, all right. Perfect tra- on a day like today that's rainy and cloudy and dark. Uh, it, it's so dark outside, like it's pitch black outside. It's dark and it's like the middle of the day. Uh, perfect song for you to put on and lay down in bed and contemplate life. Just, just sleep. Just no, not even sleep. Just like, just close your eyes and just contemplate life. Like, what have I done with my life so far, and where am I going? And then just play the song. I, I it's the perfect introspective track. I, I get, oh, that part was magnificent. The the, 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 the chorus. There the, was no lyrics in the chorus. No, the chorus was the, the chorus, humming. The chorus was like the choir humming. Yeah, I I love that though. It was magnificent. Like absolutely magnificent. The the to me the song is overall is absolutely magnificent. Like there's nothing wrong for you to pick at the song. But then as you start looking at certain parts of the song and you, and you start to break them down, the fact that when it gets in like like the chorus is a humming pretty much. I love that. I, I love the fact that that um, it, it's it's so soothing. The voice is so soothing. That humming is so soothing. I absolutely love it. It goes with the whole folkiness. Uh, the almost a campfire vibe, yeah. like something you would sing around the campfire. It has it has that feel to me. It has that mood, that atmosphere. That to me is definitely one of the highlights of the. Tra- I absolutely every time that came on, I kind of closed my eyes and I was just going like this, so like, like oh my god, it's so so soothing. You know what I mean? Um, that was one of the elements. The other element was the the uh, I'm gonna say acoustic guitar. That was it was really stripped down guitar melody. That, it, it that, got, the song got like it was. I'm not gonna say heavy, but it got like a little bit more. No, the song was not heavy. No, but I'm talking about there maybe was, more intensity. There was, there was a certain some... part that had more intensity in it, and then it just died down per, like right away, because the song doesn't need any like hard guitar or anything. Well, it needs it's to be just... mellow, what like that throughout. The... One thing I didn't realize at the end when the song was finishing with that acoustic feel to it. Uh, which is how it started. I thought that we were gonna bring the humming one more time. I just oh wanted the humming God. more. I, I like. I, I cannot get enough of that humming. I just wanted more. But then, as the song finished, I was like, no, 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 no. It makes sense because the song finishes with the same melody that it starts with. Yeah. So it kind of goes full circle. It's a perfect. It's uh, perfect. Replay song. You know, it's 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 like the the cycle uh, uh, of, of of life. Like for example, like the the sun comes up, then the sun goes down, and then the sun comes back up the next day. So it's kind of like, it kind of goes through that same kind of cycle. I really like that. Now in the beginning, I was like, oh, I wanted more humming because I really like the humming. But then it's like, no, 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 no. The song finishes exactly the way it should have finished, yeah. and it goes full circle. If you're playing the song on loop. Uh, it, it just ble- like it'll bleed into the the back end, bleed into the beginning, yeah. and you don't know where the song ended and when it's starting. It's just gonna go on a perfect loop because the start of the song it didn't start out slow and build up. No, it just started up full acoustic. Yeah, and almost immediately he starts singing. Almost immediately, it's not like it was like a, a, a like a one minute thirty second no, no. intro into it. It just kind of like start not abruptly, but it just started right away. But it starts with that almost acoustic guitar feel. I absolutely love it. That kind of came in and out of the song in different portions of the song. It's not like it was always there 
it was it was hidden sometimes and it came, it kind of peeked out a little bit more and then it, it went back again and it, it got hidden again and then it peeked out a bit more. I, I I love that that what they did musically that 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 that, that motion of, of having that that melody that almost folky stripped down melody coming in and out of the track it, it worked so well with the vocals because the vocals were like like a lullaby like a child's lullaby there was like absolutely magnificent and then the humming the the, the humming oh my god the humming was just like mic drop with the humming i i just absolutely love it it, it just the, the the song had such um a combination of 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 um feel good because it has that folky apple picking feel to it but at the same time it, it felt so dark yeah it, it felt so somber you know it, it had this this uh weight of the world on your shoulders kind of thing you know uh almost like a father telling a son that life is not always going to be easy and one day you're going to be faced with hard choices you know you know like that kind of passing of the baton like yeah. you know from one generation to the other it kind of had that feel so even though there's a little bit of a of a light hardness to it the overall mood is is one that it's very dark so it's beautiful but it's very dark at the same time yeah. I, I i love that i this song is magnificent love it thank you the patron that requested this song yeah magnificent magnificent all right guys come no, back I feel like buying the album that this is from just so i can go through every single i, I think an album i think a song like this you have to get the album you have to listen to it in sequence yeah you have to you have to immerse yourself into the whole record i'm not a big fan of getting just individual tracks depending on who the band is yeah. and the style if we're talking let's say thrash metal for example let's use uh suicidal angels right uh suicide angels uh, if you use them as an example, you can listen to one, two tracks from the record, uh, s segregated from each other. You don't, you're not missing uh, anything. You're, you're still getting the full brunt if it's like a, of the assault. If it's a folk album, you kind of. If it's a folk album, or even like an Insomnium record, yeah, uh, or Wolfheart, another band like, you really have to get the whole record, dive in at the beginning, and just come out at the end because yeah. it's a journey. You have to, you have to. Uh, LVT, another band that you have to immerse yourself into the full record. Some bands you can get away with it depending on their style. You can get away with just listening to a song here and a song there. But there's other bands that you just really need to engulf yourself into the whole record, listen yeah. to it from beginning to end. I found that just quick thing. I found that when I'm doing the album review sometimes. I, I like the album as I'm listening to the album uh, in sequence. And then when I put my favorite songs on my uh, on my iPod and I'm listening to them, I'm like, ah, oh, doesn't sound as good as it did when it was on the record. Yeah. Because it doesn't have the other tracks around it. And yeah. it doesn't have that fluidity of you listening from the first all the way to the last. So I found myself uh, having to go and put all the album in my, in my iPod because to listen to just one or two segregated from the album, it just didn't work for me. It didn't work. All right, guys, this is it for today, but uh, come back tomorrow and we'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.